Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal up against Norway. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio begins in goal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Here's how Norway will begin the game. Well, they're playing in a 4-5-1 formation, which is set up to counter-attack at pace. Yes, they'll play with a flat midfield out of possession, but when they win the ball back, they'll break forward really quickly. Let's hope they play it well today. And so the match is underway. Bernardo Silva. It's with Ruben Neves. Joao Cancelo. Bruno Fernandes. Pepe. And it's Ruben Dias. Good tackle. Well, strong play here. You know, when Ronaldo is on the pitch, we tend to think he'll stamp his authority on the game, Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him this time around? Well, Derek, we know he's a good all-round finisher, but I think his greatest attribute is his heading ability. He seems to hang in the air, he's got great technique when the ball comes onto his head, and he usually hits the target. That's his greatest skill. Rafael Leao. Portugal finding space on the wing. Played into the box. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping. Firstly the save, and then the recovery. Brilliant from him. And a fine tackle. Bruno Fernandes. Leal and he takes it on a gift for any goalkeeper Torsby El Yunusi palmed away by the keeper and by a wafer thin margin offside Silva. Here's Ronaldo. Oh, lovely incisive pass. And there it is! Living history! The opening goal of the 2022 World Cup final. Incredible celebrations. Well, let's just take another look at this through ball by Ronaldo. He gets the timing absolutely right, and Fernandez's finish is excellent. He times his run, he finds that bit of space, and he was never going to miss that. Well, the ball is...
defenders moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Birger Solberg Melling. Torsby. And played the pass well. Really good block. Cristiano Ronaldo. And teammates around him. Body on the line. Oh, he's given us away. Gonzalo Getsch. And return to Ronaldo. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Trying to deliver it accurately. Christopher Ayer. Edison. And scope for them to produce something exciting. He could pick out a teammate. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Good visualization and execution. He just needs to remain icy cold. A superb chance, but he's failed the test. Well, you can see what he was trying to do, but he's missed the target. He should score there. Did well to win the ball back. Now can they create something? And Yunusi. Not a great pass. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Ronaldo. Has eyes for goal! Well, we gave it the big build-up, but he didn't quite deliver on his promise. Good movement. And given away. Bruno Fernandes. Now with Ronaldo. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Who can he pick out? Well, a struggle to get it away properly. Bruno Fernandes. Now with Ronaldo. High echelon goalkeeping there. Corner kick played in. And clearing is away. And blocked for now. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Portugal pushing forward with options available. Gives it a go! Well, just centimetres over the bar with that powerful shot. And space to attack. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. And Bernardo Silva losing out to his opponent. Aursnes. And a failure to keep the ball on Portugal's part. 
Here goes Solberg Melling. Oh, just mistimed his run, and the flag going up. Ronaldo. Can they convert? And splendid goalkeeping. Well, it's a decent attempt, but in the end, not enough. And as you say, good goalkeeping. Frederik Aursnes. They've lost it. Ronaldo. And this situation could be dangerous. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Aursnes is showing good defensive judgment. Not giving him a moment's peace. Ronaldo. And Ronaldo takes on the shot. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, we won't get tired of seeing this, will we? Because that struck so sweetly. He really does surprise everybody here, not least the keeper. What a good finish that is. advantage here Elianusi he read the situation defensively and did his job Pedersen and Norway will get the throw in well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Martin Odegaard. Possession given away, unfortunately. Gonzalo Getsch. Not a bad pass it was. Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respect on that occasion. That's not a good effort. Ruben Neves. Bruno Fernandes has it. Cristiano Ronaldo. Bernardo Silva. Back to Ronaldo. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Tremendous block. Erling Haaland. Well read to ease the pressure. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. And in with a real chance. Well, the break looked promising, but the danger has been averted. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. This might be ideal for the counter. Oh, big chance! Did look as though they might be onto something for a second or so. Superb block. And he saw the situation developing. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Birger Solberg-Melling, chance to play it in. Can he finish? 
Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. And now it's all over. We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe. Now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today. Portugal, the world champions. And this is finally Portugal's time. Fully deserved. Best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach. He's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.